The Lord has placed it on my heart today to pray for friends and families who are affected with cancer. Cancer has become one of the deadliest diseases that is impacting our world, our families, our homes, our loved ones. And today I want you to join with me to pray against all these cancers that are killing our loved ones. We read in Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11 where the Bible tells us that God has highly exalted Jesus and has given him a name that is above every name. And at the name of Jesus, every knees will bow and every tongue confess. But I want to also apply this today to every disease must be subject to the power and the name of Jesus Christ. So I want you today to join with me and whatever cancer you may be aware of that is affecting loved ones, I want you to call that cancer's name and to believe today that the name of Jesus has power and authority over that name, that disease, and it must be suppressed and destroyed by the power and the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And so today we read also in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, that if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will heed their land, and I will forgive their sins. I want to pray today for you and for your loved ones and for your families and friends. And as you share this prayer, that God will use this prayer as a source of healing to help to bring deliverance to the lives of those who are affected by these cancers. I am praying today against every cancer. I'm praying against lung cancer breast cancer, colon cancer, uh, prostate cancer, cervical cancer. I'm praying against liver cancer, throat cancer, lupus, lymph nodes, skin cancer, brain cancer, all of the cancers mentioned and unmentioned. I am praying today in the name of the authority and the power of Jesus Christ that he will break the stronghold of these cancers that are affecting our lives. Father, I ask you now, upon the authority of your words, you have given us the authority of your words. You have given us the power of the Holy Spirit to cast out devils, to trample things on the feet, to break the strongholds of principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world, to, to pray for the sick and they will recover, or to cast out devils, demons and forces of darkness we come to you today in the name of jesus christ whose name is above every name and under the name on the power on the authority of jesus christ we break the spell we break the stronghold of all of the cancers that are destroying the lives of our children our fathers our mothers our brothers our sisters our grandparents oh God, our loved ones, our friends, our co-workers, we come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God. And we declare today that it is by your stripes we are healed. We claim today that you were wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace were upon you on the cross and with your stripes we are healed. I declare it today that under the power of the Holy Spirit, the stronghold of cancers of every type must diminish. They must no longer have authority to, dis, to, to break down families, to, to destroy families. In the name of Jesus Christ, your son, we declare today that we have power to trample everything on the feet. And we ask you, Lord, 
that you will increase our faith because we know that if we have faith like a mustard seed we have said it time and again you have given us Lord the hint that if we have faith enough to believe that you have power the Bible tells us that every man that come to you must believe that you are who you are and that you are the reward of those who diligently seek you and today we seek you on the behalf of my friends my family my loved ones who are ill and affected oh god who are struggling right now with cancers of every level oh stage one two three four you have the power the bible tells us that all power is given to you in heaven and in earth and now i ask you now i ask you that somebody who is listening to this prayer will feel the virtue of the power of god or oh, sending shock waves in their body like the woman with the issue of blood as she touched you lord immediately oh the blood issue dried up i pray now that somebody's faith will cause their cancer cells oh god to perish oh god to be reversed in the name of jesus that the cells that are growing will die in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray today upon your words that cancer cells of every sort every type and every location will begin to dry up by the power of the holy spirit we ask it now and we thank you in jesus name for your glory and for the testimony and the healing of your children we claim it in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit cancer you are cursed you are reversed and we declare it upon the authority of god's word in jesus name amen and amen and amen if you believe god is able and has the power share this with somebody because you sharing might bring healing and deliverance to somebody who you care about and if you are one who are, are affected by cancer i declare today your healing in the name of jesus receive it